let's talk about iOS 18 beta 3 changes. Hand it over to the Grifster to cover some of these. Keep in mind, uh, I got about 20 minutes left before the show has to be over, and we got a lot to do. So, <laughs> turbo mode. Well, this is kind of a small beta update, so we can rush through this. Okay. iOS 18 beta 3 further refines the dynamic island flashlight animation on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. You can swipe up and down to make it uh, brighter and dimmer, or swipe left and right to make the light narrower or wider. There's like a really cool animation. You have to you have to check it out if you're, um, you know, click through the show notes if you're just listening or. Maybe maybe go to watch.thecultcast.com to to see it. It's really cool looking. Um, iOS 18 beta three introduces macOS inspired dynamic color changing wallpapers uh, that'll that'll change colors based on the time of the day. Um, Apple continues to make changes to how dark mode icons work. Uh, they now force third party icons to switch to dark mode, even if the developer hasn't created their own custom dark mode icon. Any app icon that's like a simple like color glyph on a solid background will be automatically recolored to match Apple's own color scheme. Wow. Um, and and their icon will just be darkened as well so that they fit in a little more. Uh, that'll give, give you a more consistent look if you prefer that look. I, the iOS 18 beta, they make a big change to the emoji picker, making the emoji bigger. So now they're only like four rows of emoji instead of like five or six and they increase the space between them like the first time this brought up i thought something was wrong because like all the emoji look <laughs> huge uh it, it's cleaner and more cl clutter free yeah, according to some i think it's it, it's lowering the information density like you know we, we make our phone screens bigger so we can put more stuff on them and then like years down the line well we just make everything bigger on the screen you know well <laughs> what's the point then of having a giant screen um you can also directly access stickers or Memoji from the Emoji keyboard. That's part of the reason why they why they make the size bigger, admittedly. Oh. Um, there are a few minor changes to the uh, Photos app as well, including a select button that's always visible and a search button that is now colored blue instead of gray. Oh, it's blue. Wow. Okay. Great yeah, pick. So Great they made pick. it slightly more prominent. I have. There's actually going to be a, a a a piece coming this weekend about all the things that I hate about the new Photos app. So stay tuned. For that. Three thousand words and why blue is the wrong color for the search the search box coming this week, it, folks. It shouldn't be Thanks. a tiny button way up in the toolbar, anyways. It should just be like a full size text field. There's this gorgeous new like full screen user interface when you when you when you bring up the the, the search bar, but and they they hide it away. Like it's 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 so hard to reach. You know, it's kind of it really cool. blew it. <laughs> Where's my? <laughs> what the? There we go. I was looking for it. A little slow on the draw stairs. there. <laughs> a little slow on the draw there, but there it is. There's your rim shot. Okay, let's see. I've completely lost my place. <laughs> I'm floating through space and time like Gandalf after he destroyed the Balrog. 